So today we're looking at doing a hive inspection where we open the hive and look for eggs. I can try and find the queen if she's around, but most importantly I'm looking that she's actively laying eggs in the cells. We have constructed a platform that holds four beehives up on the roof of Building 5. You know, at the beginning of the project, it was really more about infrastructure, getting four hives up on the roof. How do we get up on the roof? How do we make sure our staff are safe on the roof? How are we going to harvest it, and what are we going to use it for? It's been extremely engaging. I think one thing that it has done is brought a lot of attention to our project because there's something about bees that just people love and they want to hear more about, and I love that too. We recognize there's a lot of people that have small gardens, there's community gardens that grow food, and we want to be able to help the healthy pollinator population in the urban downtown core. I also think it's really important to reconnect students with their food system. So we've positioned the beehives outside of three classrooms so that there's really easy viewing opportunities for tours. We do at least weekly beekeeping tours to keep the community, not only the community of McEwen, but the surrounding community involved with this initiative. The benefit to urban beekeeping is that your season is typically longer and more diverse. It's longer in that it can start earlier as soon as any of the variety of flowers in the area are out and about, and it'll typically extend longer because the the colder weather doesn't quite hit the city quite as hard. And the other benefit is that there is a lot more pollen around, different types of pollen. So in your rural honey, in your commercialized honey, there might be 50 different types of pollen. But in an urban honey, the testing that they've done, they usually just find about 250 types of pollen in that type of honey. The food sustainability is an important factor in this project for McEwen, and I feel uh, honored to be able to help them with that. And to have the students and, and parents and everyone be aware that there are, there are bees and they're important for pollination that we can do something about it. It, it means a lot. It, it's nice to be able to say McEwen's doing their part to encourage that and communicate that out. Right now we have four hives and we're using flow hives. So flow hives are really unique. What happens is the frames, the comb is already half constructed. And what the bees do is they construct the other half of the honeycomb. What happens when the whole frame is filled is we simply insert a rod in the top and turn it. And that breaks the honeycomb and literally the honey just flows out of the hive. This method lets me just harvest the honey as soon as I see one frame is ready. So one frame at a time, on a nice day I can come out and, and draw out the honey. Typically it's around uh, two liters worth of honey per frame. No scraping, no turning, no pasteurizing. It's pure fresh honey from our hives. They do travel around campus quite easily. They, do, they have the range to be able to go all the way north up to the Blanchford or all the way to Nate, as well as down south through the River Valley and uh, all the way to the U of A if they really need to go that far. So a really diversified food crop, which makes our honey, in my mind, extra delicious. For me, being a foodie and someone that spends a, spent a lot of time in the food industry, the first taste of honey that came out of a hive was unbelievable. It's, you know, I say this to a lot of people, but it's unlike any honey that I've ever tasted. And, a, and I think a big part of that is we skip that cyclone process where typically you take a frame, you stick it in a drum, and then you spin it. And it's the centrifugal force that pulls the honey off of the frame. But that also oxygenates the honey, so it, it creates little air bubbles in there, which dilutes the flavor a little bit. And uh, our honey is just pure, it's purely poured out. The taste changes from season to season. You know, it's a beautiful project and a very, very simple, simple ingredient that comes out of it that we're incorporating anywhere we can. McEwen community has completely and wholeheartedly supported our beekeeping initiative. We were able to produce 70 kilograms of honey between our four hives, and that sold in less than 23 minutes. It's a very clear honey. It's quite quite pretty. It's uh, it's actually been graded as an extra white honey. The the jars of honey that we're harvesting, we are taking to the food services department, and we're getting it bottled into resellable containers. The profits from that are going to be reinvested into the project to encourage more awareness and, and communication around that. I think one of the reasons that people are so engaged with this is it's something very tangible. They understand bees make honey, so they understand, okay, I can go up to the 
roof of building five and I can see what they're doing. I can see that they're pollinating down in our, our flowers. It's something that resonates with them that they can see. It was really important for us to spread the honey throughout the McEwen community, so there were many people that had the opportunity to try it. Next year, we're going to be adding two additional beehives, and we're hoping that our production will be at least double of this year. Our goal was to try and get as many people to have our honey in their hands as possible. And one way of doing that is not just selling you know, full 212 milliliter jars full of honey. We're going to do that still, but we can also take you know, a tenth of that jar and incorporate it into our honey vinaigrette. Completely our own honey, own herbs, and vinegar and oil, that's it. All fresh ingredients within the campus. Any chef you in the world you ask, what plays important role is the ingredient. Good food is always all, all about great ingredients. When you have that accessibility of that ingredient, you can always produce simple but great food.